Somalia's government continues to function despite a power struggle between President Mohamed Farmajo and Prime Minister Mohamed Roble. The president has tried to take away Roble's authority. The Prime Minister has ignored Farmajo's directive. Caught in the middle are government employees and election bodies. Both need some direction but may have a hard time deciding who to listen to. Omar Mahmoud, the International Crisis Group's resident expert on Somalia, joins ADN TV to help understand what is going on and how it will play out. Mediation efforts have gone on, but both sides clearly have some red lines which are unpalatable for the other. And so I think it's going to be quite a challenge. You know, we've seen the upper house elections still continue, and that's been a good sign, but the lower house is obviously more complicated and still requires a degree of actually, you know, political agreement, especially in, in some localized areas in order to get that process moving on. So my concern is, you know, the longer this power struggle goes on, the more it actually delays uh, the election and kind of affects implementation of that. So how do government employees decide who to obey? See some parts of the government responding more to Robles' side, some parts responding more to Farmajo's side. So, I mean, it's clearly, you know, a divisive and, and quite debilitating, honestly, to run a government. You know, and the other thing we should keep in mind is this is a government that has actually overstayed its mandate, which, which expired back in February. So, you know, it's already on, on questionable uh, legality within that. And now you have these, you know, basically appealing to different sides of the government and, and, you know, that even day-to-day -day running, someone has to make kind of a political decision in terms of who, who they listen to. How is this affecting the government's performance? Well, I think everyone's kind of playing a, a waiting game just now. You know, it's, it's been a couple weeks through this and there's been these mediation efforts that have not really made much progress. And so, honestly, a lot of work was already on hold given that that this is, uh, you know, government whose mandate technically expired in February, and given that we've been trapped in an election cycle since then. So, you know, big sort of other projects and priorities, not much is happening on those in any case. The dispute's main point of contention is the investigation of the death of intelligence agent Ikran Talil. How will this point be resolved? I think there's a very strong demand within the Somali public sphere for this case to be heard and, and to be heard fairly. And I don't think that's going away. Honestly, I think anytime there's a move in the other sort of direction, you see an even stronger response on, on the public side. So I would very much you know, expect that it's quite a political hot potato issue, uh, but I would expect it to sort of continue until we find out a little bit more. President Formaggio's resistance to the investigation appears to be focused on keeping former NISA director Fahad Yassin out of trouble. Why? And Fahad was so important to his election campaign in 2017, probably very important for his prospects of re-election. So I think, uh, you know, entertaining any sort of, of you know, investigation or anything else that, that would damage sort of Fahad's reputation if that were to be the case. In, in also by association is an issue for Farmajo's re-election. The other big issue has been the appointment of rival security officials by each leader. Farmajo has been in charge of security forces in the country since his election in 2017. How has Roble found allies within these units? You know, he's really presented himself as the one that's, that's gonna push forward two elections. So any, you know, anyone else who, you know, has that similar sort of agenda is lining up behind him. And so I think it's, it's not necessarily, you know, his, his personality or his personal sort of ties. It's more what he represents and what he's pushing forward that's, that's attracting some support. ADN TV would like to thank Omar Mahmoud of the International Crisis Group for his keen insights. We will have more on Somalia's election from Mr. Mahmoud tomorrow. ADN TV will continue to provide expert analysis on political and security developments in Somalia.